Hello, week five training vlog. Let's get at it. Uh, really quick, before I start walking through the whole week. Today, Friday. Ooh, that's a good look. Yeah, right. Friday, rest day. Huh, the weather is changing. Oh my gosh, it's going back to like normalcy. Norm normalcy, normal, normalcy, normal. It's, it's starting to get more normal. I feel like these are, are ridiculous in my head right now. Anyways, uh, 50 something degrees today. Dude, the last couple of days are chilly. So rest day, Friday, uh, I still get out and I do spins. I do like an hour spin, super chill. I usually average 120 watts, 140 watts, somewhere in there. Uh, heart rate's always around 100 beats average. Anyways, one thing I like to do though, uh, I've started doing this year and my coach has given me lots of, uh, I guess just uh, structure on this, um, but drills, bike handling drills, skills, if you will. So since it's a rest day and it's just chill, easy spending today, uh, it's a perfect day to go and do these drills. So uh, I made a video about these drills Go check that out, find it on my channel. But uh, yeah, basically just doing a lot of one-handed drills, turning and then uh, doing one foot turning drills and then using my belly button to turn and then I'm doing some carving, all kinds of different things. So there's a lot of things I'm doing during these drills. Uh, probably gonna spend 15 to 25 minutes just doing these specific drills. Um, but I've already noticed it's huge improvement on my bike handling. Uh, I feel a lot smoother through corners. I feel like I'm going a little bit faster through corners. I'm taking lines better that I usually don't take, things of that nature. So yeah, I'm gonna go do my drills now. That's it. Super, super simple stuff. Uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with that. That ankle drill where I grab my ankle and then I like pedal. Dude, the first time I did that, I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now I'm able to like, it's teaching you to lean the bike away from you so you can get a better reach on it and just like hang on to it. So that's what I, uh, I've gotten a lot better at that. Also, I'm not as stiff when I'm doing those tight circles. But uh, so sometimes uh, I'll do this pre-ride, almost like an activation. And then when I go out and ride, every corner becomes an opportunity to practice. Whether I'm going fast or slow. If I'm going slow, I can make it over dramatic and really like lean the bike and work on the fundamentals. If I'm going fast, it's more of like, okay, now let's throw it all together and see how good we can rip this corner and push the limits. Uh, I also do that sometimes post ride because when you're tired afterwards, it's always good to get that muscle memory in there. Even when you're tired, when you're fresh, it's easy to like revert to it. When you get tired, you want to continue to practice it. So your body remembers how to do it even under fatigue, kind of like a golfer. You spend all day hitting golf balls, not just to fine tune your shot, but to also foul the fatigue of the round and always have that same swing form. So I do it pre and post depending on the days. Anyways, back to my recovery spin. So 
we all remember, if you saw my vlog last week, I cut the sidewall on my tire. Bad. Right there. Check it out. Gone. Dunzos. Not sealing up. Uh, so, got a new tire. I've been riding these Vittoria Corsa Next tires. So, so it's not the high-end uh, Corsa Pros. It's the one right below them. They're still wicked fast. They got a little bit more tread life and they're a little bit more um, puncture res resistant. Now again, sidewall. I don't know what, it must've been like a razor blade or something. Cause it was just like whoop, psh, flat, dunzos. Anyways, I've been riding these on the, on my Falante. I really want to get a pair to put on the hypers that I have on the Zero. Yes, I still ride my Windspace Hyper wheels. Uh, if you haven't checked those out, I did a review on them. Chaz 10 uh, should give you 10% off if you go to their website and you want to make a purchase on anything on there. Chaz 10 should give you 10%. We'll see. Anyways, throw this bad boy on. It's really not that hard. Uh, I'll just kind of show you in a uh, fast time how easy it is for me to change tubeless. <laughs> Extra hour of sleep, but I'm still wicked tired. I literally just woke up. Oh man. Dude, so when I said putting on that tubeless tire was gonna be easy, I jinxed myself. I was having issues. Uh but it got done nonetheless. I had to use the trusty uh pump where you can like build up the air to like hundred and sixty psi and then you like release the valve and psh, shoots it out like a air compressor would. So that's what I did and it worked. Um, yeah. Anyways, it's now Sunday. Weather is getting warmer. Uh, it's been a good week so far. Last ride of the week. Oh, uh, group ride. Gosh, I'm so tired. Ugh. Group ride starts at 10. So I'm just making some breakfast right now. I'm doing, um, banana peanut butter on toast. Doesn't sound like anything fancy. Just a good amount of carbs, protein, things like that. So that's what I'm doing. And then uh, gonna get kitted up. I'm actually gonna ride to the group ride, do the group ride, ride home. So I'll be about three and a half hours today, maybe four, we'll see. Anyways, I wanna finish uh, making breakfast. Then I'm gonna get out of here. The lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling, keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling. You know when I listen, but I told him, told him one more time. Your favorite MCs, bronze or silver. These raps here are golden, golden. Cards on the table, there's no folders. Spit bars at the club, holding, holding. TikTok comes along, I get ripped off. Man get pissed off when I start lift off. Sweet like flame is cookie and biscuit. Flanty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off. Big time myself, yo. Every time I tripped off, little petty tell them they're big rock. Me and my jeans do get my fame big swap. Full circle that everybody we drop. That's irrelevant, memory like an elephant. Keep it hard, but you know. That is silicon. Get mad, but always benevolent. Always moving up, just leveling. Constantly telling them, rhyming, bridging. Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling. Hibernating them, oh, she's back again. Oh, cause a little fire on the track again. Turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon, yeah, if you want buff, we can go psycho. Psycho, psycho, head to head, bout to bout to the mic on. Mic on, mic on, turn the music up, vibe like an icon. Icon, icon. Yeah, I don't mind. 
mind, I'll do it for the hell of it, yeah Elevate bars, I regulate, yeah UK, wheel up the tune, just meditate If you didn't get it by now, then it kinda late Man thinks he's a bad man, but he's kinda bait Live every day like it's my last celebrate Mind on the past, we calibrate Loading, loading, strike with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Didn't wanna listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bones are silver Too bad these vibes keep rubbing over Got a couple of bars, I'm gonna take all this Now fold it, spit bars in a clamps over Just for the fun, don't need zoning That's irrelevant, make me look like an elephant Keep it hard, but you know that it's elegant Get mad but always benevolent Always moving up just leveling Constantly telling them rhyming rhythm Psycho through these sheets I'm pedaling Hibernating them bone she's back again Oh, got the little fire on the track again Turn the music on vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah if you oh. want <laughs> Alright, four hours in the books A little bit too long uh, I was supposed to try three and a half The ride down and back took a little bit longer than Oh, yeah it is what it is Oh my gosh First time this off season, I cracked in the last 15 minutes. I am so hungry. I'm gonna eat so much food. I'm thinking banana pancakes. I've been thinking about that for the last like five miles. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. I'm so cracked, like bonking cracked. It's crazy because I was doing 60 grams an hour. Oh, just, yeah. I'm so tired. I'm doing my ride. What are we making for dinner? Carrot soup. We've shown that recipe before. I'm actually really excited. I've been wanting to make it all week, but I haven't made it. And then she made it tonight. She's very exciting. Also a really big step because she hardly ever cooks. <laughs> wow. Throw me under the bus. Did I made lunch. Lunch? Let's not talk about lunch. <laughs> I do a lot of the cooking. She does a lot of the prepping. I will give her that. And cleaning. Look around. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I help with dishes. I do laundry. Uh, when was the last time I did dishes? Yesterday. Oh, sorry. I have done like two loads since then. Whatever. <laughs> and then I do laundry. Well, you do I handle kits. my kits. Yeah, you're welcome. We know how smelly those shamings are. So, anyways. Dinner is on the stove, waiting for the soup to be ready. Espresso machine, the rocket, warming that up because we want hot chocolate. So we're going to steam some milk and make hot chocolate. Oh, it's going to be so good. Who is growling? Max is growling. He's like, is it dinner time? What time is it? Dude, you have another 45 minutes till it's dinner time. Calm down. <laughs> that dog. Anyways, trusty laptop. It's Sunday looking over all the athletes that I have, that I coach. Uh, and then I'm also putting in any workouts that need to be put in, commenting on workouts that need to be commented on, looking over training plans. Currently, I, uh, I have a couple of different levels for the athletes, but I think overall I have about 23 athletes that I handle, and I do have room for a couple more. But um, yeah, one of the new ones I took on this last month, his name is James. He came out to the group ride today. He was always, he wasn't nervous about riding the group ride, but it was his first time coming out to it. And he hung on so good. He even rode the front for a while. Actually, he rode the front for a lot of it. And he threw down a new 20 minute power. And he was like, dude, I've never been able to do this before. And I was like, well, you know, part of it is uh, training. Being consistent makes a huge difference. So, anyways. That's for sure. people have asked me about uh, strength training and whatnot and what I do. I'm gonna be honest, I don't do a whole lot of strength training. Welcome to my Zwift room. Um, I don't do a whole lot of strength training. One thing me and my coach have learned, I don't really, I've done weights, like heavy lifting stuff in the past. It really hasn't transferred over at all. Um, so I don't think I'm really someone who really benefits from it. Like some people do, actually a lot of people do. 
and then some don't and i think that's just me and that's okay but uh, i'm actually going to do some functional strength work just kind of body weight stuff things like that movements just to get my whole body holistically sound and performing right so it's not like i'm here trying to add muscle or anything like that literally just kind of building the pathways getting everything to be a little bit stronger with just uh, helping each other out and balance out my my whole body so gonna walk through my routine um today i'm doing so i'll start with like some light stretching i'm gonna move into bulgarian squat static bear crawl um, i'm gonna do paleo press with a band um, some reverse lunges dead bug push-ups do some body weight squats and do some some pull-ups uh trx pull-ups some um, I'm not going to do box jump because I don't have a box, but uh, then do like a suitcase carry with a, with a kettlebell. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of going to be the, my routine for the day. Just real simple movements. As you can see, I'm halfway kitted up. So I'm going to do this before my ride. And then ride wise, I'm doing big gear tractor pulls or sprints or wind ups, whatever you want to call them from a standing start up to 90 RPM big gear so yeah follow along with my my strength workout it's my first day doing it i've been doing the functional stuff like some other like super easy movements i showed two videos ago today's the first day of this let's jump in it i'm gonna be so sore Strength work done. Oh, dude, the first one always sucks. Those Bulgarian split squats, man, they they like mess up my my hamstring with groin. Always get instantly angry afterwards. Anyways, um, for my ride, a lot of people have asked how I how I do fueling for my ride. So I use number second. Uh, this stuff is cool. It's 30 grams of carbs per scoop. What I'm going to do today is two and a half hours. So we're taking two bottles. I'm probably going to put two scoops in each bottle. That will give me 60 grams of carbs an hour. Um, and then I'm gonna take a gel with me to hit during that last half hour. So that'll put me in the range of 60 grams per hour. And then because it's a sprint workout with the big gear, like, you know, I'm gonna be using some glycogen so I want to make sure I keep keep my stores, you know, decently adequately fueled. So the game plan for today is going to be a uh, warm up. Then we jump into you. I jump into uh, I think it's eight of them. Basically, I'm going to do 53, 14 gearing, kind of a standing start, and then just go as hard as I can until I get to about 90 RPM, and then it's done. Rest, recover. Do another one like i said do eight of those then i'm just going to finish off the ride at endurance pace
Uh, those are fine. Windups are actually fun. Tractor pulls, whatever you want to call them. I'm not a sprinter, so that workout is hitting the nail on the head for like one of my major weaknesses. That's something we talked about, me and my coach. I'm excited that we're doing those. Uh, as the season, off season progresses, in the next training cycle, so I'm still in my first one, but in the next one, I know we're gonna incorporate those in the beginning of the ride. And then on the back half of the ride, we're gonna do low gear tempo work. So I'm excited for that stuff. Those are fun. I think the last one was my best one. Nothing crazy, like 949 peak power. They're, uh, they're interesting. Those are wicked fun though. I wish I had more than just five. But he's back to your regular scheduled zone two red. That's all I'm doing. Endurance, logging miles until the ride is up. I'm about 50 minutes in. I have, let's see, an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm done. Getting back into training, my training rhythm is a little bit different. Usually I go three weeks on, one week off. It's my rest adaptation week. And then I jump back into another three week build. With my fatigue so low because of the two week break and the riding that I am doing is a lot of just zone two aerobic base riding, which is not very fatiguing. And we're kind of building volume we're doing, I'm doing a four week block. So I'm on my fourth week, start of my fourth week. I feel really good today. Today I feel so good. So uh, yeah, a couple more days, then I get a rest week. Then things really get fun, like super fun. Ooh, that uh, the big, big gear wind up is fun. See, today is Thursday. I am sore, just like I said I would be from doing gym work. Well, it wasn't really gym work, it was at home gym work, but just doing all those simple movements, all body weight and whatnot, definitely made me sore. It happens. It's part of uh, getting through it. That's why I kind of reduced some of the reps on some of the sets, just so I could I can deal with it and manage it a little bit more. But uh, today's another zone two ride with some uh, high cadence drills. I've done this before, I've showed this before, but one thing about the zone two thing that I think a lot of people don't understand is it's very good for many things with helping your fitness on the bike. One of the main benefits of zone two riding is it builds mitochondria. Well, what's so important about mitochondria? Well, mitochondria is like the powerhouse cells of energy in the form of ATP. Now, what happens with mitochondria is they play a crucial role in uh, just providing energy in various cellular activities, which cycling requires a lot of cellular activity. Um, and also mitochondria helps to maintain overall cell function. Now, cycling, especially uh, endurance or aerobic zone two, it really starts to increase the demands for energy in your muscles. So that's the cool thing about it is you can actually do zone two riding for hours and hours because fatigue wise, it's not going to create a lot of chronic or uh, a lot of acute training fatigue, but it's going to utilize the most amount of energy 
in your muscles. It's going to have a huge demand for that. I love making espresso. Zone two writing is just going to prompt the growth and efficiency, basically, if you will, of uh, your mitochondria, enhancing the cell's ability just to generate energy aerobically, which is super, super important. So regular cycling can contribute to mitochondrial uh, improvement in energy production over time. That's why I actually do a lot of zone two writing. Now, the other thing that happens with zone two, and it's not just the mitochondrial benefits, but it's also the fat util utilization, meaning uh, you have a greater fat oxidation and you can improve that, your fat metabolism and efficiency as you ride at zone two. Now, uh, aside from that, this is also going to translate into better cycling performance as your body becomes more adapted at sustaining effort over longer durations. And that's why zone two rides are typically in the three to six hour range. Um, if you're a cyclist who's time crunched, you might be doing them for an hour and a half to two hours. You're still getting benefits from that. Um, but for guys who are really maximizing their aerobic fish efficiency and their mitochondria building and their fat uh, metabolism and all those different things, you know, you're doing three to six hours of just straight zone two, which is what I did yesterday. And today is kind of another ride of doing just straight zone two for about three hours. Now, some people have asked, you know, why the high cadence? What's the whole emphasis on that? And to be fair, high cadence is, is a super important thing. Um, what you see with high cadence is you actually see that it's going to reduce stress on your muscles and joints. I've already stirred this, but I'm gonna give one more little stir. It also improves efficiency, which is huge. If you can be more efficient on the bike, you can go faster. Um, it's gonna allow you to have a smooth paddle stroke. You're gonna work on like not bouncing on the bike, but rather just moving through it nice and, and uh, smoothly. High cadence can also enhance cardiovascular endurance and help it to better um, utilize oxygen and it's going to just overall contribute to a better cycling or training in general. So I do a lot of high cadence work and uh, a lot of this is honestly done at kind of the zone two level. Um, sometimes I will do it at the threshold level, different things. But when you do high cadence, I don't know if you ever noticed when you start doing high cadence work, you actually start breathing more and your, your oxygen intake goes up and different things like that. I definitely enjoy doing high cadence work. Now that's been the theme of these last four weeks of riding. Lots of zone two work, lots of high cadence work. I've done some low cadence work as well. It's work on muscular strength and fatigue resistance and force. But that's pretty much what I've been doing. And then that's pretty much how the next couple of weeks are going to go. They're going to go almost identical to that. The only difference is I'm going to now be doing much more tempo work. I've done hardly any so far, but now that we got an aerobic base in of four weeks, now we move into tempo work to build that base bigger. Okay, roll like number I'm a no five, six, know how to work on your bike. So, so the issue I'm having is uh, my chain's dropping. Like it's being thrown to the outside when I go to the big ring. And uh, it's just because I have the derailleur set up a little bit too, uh, too trimmed that way. The cool thing about Campy is you can uh, hold down the mode buttons, put it into adjustment mode. Now I'm going to move derailleur 1.5 mils 
off from uh, from the chain, which go. I think we're all good. The structure for today's workout, super simple. Zone two with a little bit of like zone two tempo, like not zone two tempo, but zone two into zone three. So endurance and then a little bit of tempo. But basically just going uh, 10 minutes at whatever cadence I want. Right now I've been hovering about 88 to 92. And then when I do the five minute high cadence work, I go from doing, I do about 250 watts. It's kind of the range. And uh, I'll do about 100 RPM, 100 to 105. Then when I go back to the 10 minute zone two, just chilling around 215, 220 at whatever feels comfortable. St. Abraham's, Abraham's uh, Lutheran Church Cemetery. This is where Abraham Lincoln is buried. Not really. <laughs> Yo, this ride escalated quickly. I didn't know it was gonna rain today. What's up with that? Oh, the Bambis, do you see him? There's uh, there's one, two, three. I think they're all, they're all does. I don't think there's any bucks. Oh, four, there's four. Anyways, to this ride. Weather was like 68 degrees, partly cloudy. Went outside, oh, it feels glorious. I'll take my vest just in case it gets colder later. And then it started raining. Yeah, I'm, socks are soaked. <laughs> Second water stop today. I am on top of hydration. Uh, our team bottles. They're 17 ounces or 550 milligrams, I think, it's, or uh, milliliters is what they are. So I've been doing about two every hour to hour and a half. Uh, about 245 in, got another 35, 40 minutes until I'm home. So I'm supposed to ride three hours today. I'm gonna be a little bit over that, um, but I'm just gonna ride zone two endurance home. Just keep it chill. That way uh, don't accumulate any extra fatigue. But uh, yeah, being hydrated is key, even in the winter months, or like the fall months, I guess we're in fall, but as it gets colder, although it's harder because I find that I don't sweat as much, so I gotta like stop and pee more often. But hey, it is what it is. Maybe that's too much information. I don't know. Y'all wanna know what I do during my life, so today's a lot of pee stops. Another ride in the books. Another training vlog in the books. That's all I got for you. Going into a rest week, two more rides this weekend, and that's it.